19 Nocturne Boulevard. Nocturne Boulevard? Not far. When you hit Howard, hang a right. Howard meets Philip at a weird kind of angle, and then you cross James and Poe. You can't miss Nocturne, it's just past the Ottoman. 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Your address for suspenseful stories of the speculative, strange, and supernatural. Tonight's story is The Dead Eye Kid. Yes, this is 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Won't you step inside? Did you have any trouble finding it? What do you mean, what kind of a place is it? Why, it's a country road, somewhere in the mountains of the Old West. Tell me again why you wanted to come on up here. I've told you a dozen times already, old chap. Keep telling me and Mike could, I'll believe it sometime. I am fascinated by the impact of immigrant culture into the Americas. This particular area of the Ozark Mountain Range was heavily influenced by the Scottish who came here over the years. I never heard no one from here about sounding Scotch. Not surprising, my good man. Scottish is an accent. Scotch is a whiskey. <laughs> I reckon. And you see, this area is most commonly known for carrying over the Scottish concept of the feud. Well, I guess I did know that. Some feuds in Scotland went on for generations, long after everyone had forgotten the root cause of the conflict. Yep. And this area is so isolated, nothing will have changed much for, oh, 200 years. It's like a window into the past. Speaking of holding grudges, Fanshawe, you might not want to say too much. Folks around here might still be smarting from that little dust-up with your folks. My folks? You know, hundred-some years a back. Hundred... Oh. Oh, yes. I take your point, Lemuel. Yes, I shall keep mum, then, until we have tested the waters, so to speak, and understand the local population a mite better. Long as you keep shit, I reckon we'll do fine. Stop right there. Don't want no trouble, partner. You want them? Don't even know who them is. Them drummins? Not no drummin'. Don't know no drummins. Just passing through. Name's Lemuel Roberts. Roberts? You the dead-eye kid? <sighs> Used to be. I'm retired. You don't stand with them drummings. I stand pretty much as you see me. He's supposed to be mighty good with the shooting iron. Any chance you'd like a job? I don't take sides. It wouldn't take long. <laughs> you and me, we could end this hair thing once and for all. I ain't a shootist no more. Fight your own battles. I say, what if he shoots you in the back? Won't make no never mind. He ain't no danger. Oh, oh. I am always baffled that you see things like that so much more clearly than I. Yep. I'm the lucky one. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Don't see too many strangers around hereabouts. Certainly don't. Nope. We're might off the beaten path. Will you have? Whiskey. I could do with some myself. I didn't see no sign. What's the name of this here town? Lochnaw. I knew it. I'm quite sure there's a castle Lochnaw. I shall have to look like that up. Like I said, we don't get many strangers hereabouts. No need for a sign. Reckon so. I hear tell of some feuding up this way. Perhaps why you get no company? Did that blasted hap tar box try and hold you up? Sure. No, no. I met someone, but he was mighty near civil. You call that civil? Ain't no need for... You... 
You all got a female sheriff? My word. She's the only one, no one. I'm Sheriff Milford. But most folks just call me sheriff now. Don't take you very serious, do they? They don't have much choice. Is there anything I can help you with? Tarbox is up to it again. That's preposterous. I've got him locked up. What's your name, stranger? Lemuel Roberts. I saw someone... Someone tried to stop him in the road. It surely wasn't Abner Tarbox. I say, why? Didn't nobody try to stop me. I was just saying I met someone on the road. Well, what did he look like? I didn't... Just under six feet tall, ginger hair, perhaps 60 years old, bloody complexion. Didn't get a good look at him. He is in the brush. Let's well, have... Hush. Let's have a seat. This person. Did he say anything? Asked if I was Tarbox or Drummond. When I said I didn't know neither one from Adam, he passed on. On by. Well, when was this? An hour or so. See here, what's going on? Do go on. This is fascinating. Tarbox Drummond feud started long before I arrived in town. They've just about managed to kill each other off. The only ones still fighting are Hap Tarbox and Jake Drummond. And neither one has any children. So Loch Noll's just keeping its head down until one or both is done in. And you're the only one they all... I was made sheriff because I'm the only one in town with no kin on either side. I came to Loch Noll as school marm, if you can believe it. Took this on since it was the only way to keep them from shooting up the town every Friday night. Now they just terrorize each other. And strangers. Perhaps we might be able to help. Not much of one for interfering. That isn't what I've heard, Mr. Roberts. <sighs> Your reputation precedes you. I can't never get away from double it. Double negative. You shouldn't use a double negative like that. I don't rightly care. I'm sorry. Old habits. I'm sorry. If you truly don't want to interfere, I'll... I did not say that, neither. You're smarter than you act sometimes, pardon Only it's more on account of what I used to be than what I am, if you take my drift. I'm afraid I don't. Quite. He's a reformed man, trying to make up for the things he feels he has done wrong. Let's just say that if I still were who I was, I'd probably be wanting money for this. Being who I am now, I'm just trying to... Well... Get into Providence's good books. Expiation. My word exactly. No, just paying back for my sins. Are you quite certain this is safe? You don't have to come along. You're something of a trial. That's the sort of thanks I get. If it were not for me... You know I don't mind the company. I just meant... Was that? A twig. You should just be about there if I reckon right. <clears throat> yep, it's cleared out over that away. That will make a delightful change. I say, look there, Lemuel. I see her. Ma'am? Ma'am? Oh, Ma'am, please, we don't mean no Any? harm. Just want to sit and talk for a spell. Are you Marilee Tarbox? I was told I might find you hereabouts. I, I, what are you doing here? We've come to speak with you, my dear young lady, about the <coughs> altercation between the Tarbox family and the Drummonds. I'm afraid that's all my doing. That's why we come. Can you bear to tell it? I was supposed to marry my removed cousin, Adna Tarbox, but I was took with love for Ed Drummond. So young and fetching. Oh, how terribly romantic. Yep, as twas. I didn't make it nowheres. Never did get to church. After, well, Abner and all brought me back here, and here I stayed. And, of course, Abner couldn't marry you after all that had passed. That's crazy talk. Don't pay Fanshaw no mind. He's Fern. They talk plum crazy all the time. Lemuel. Miss Marilee, so you's telling us that it was you hiring off that started up the feud. That's all I know about. Of course, no one much talks to me no more. That is most definitely their loss, Miss Tarbox. You are as lovely as a veritable posy in springtime. Crazy but sweet, ain't you just? What more do we need to know? Miss Merrilee's abscondence was the root of the conflict. 
I just don't see it. It ain't drastic enough to my mind. Trust me, it takes very little to set Scottish blood afire, even at this far remove. Was that? Yep, that one was. Stay here. I ain't your enemy. Whoever you are, I ain't none of this. Just want some palaver. Ain't a tar box? Wouldn't even if I could. I'm not even going to try. Fish. Can I come on up? You see my hands, right? All right. Come on, then. Keep shut. I don't fancy getting killed here. Right, old Lem. Who are you, then? Lemuel Roberts. You can call me Lem. Looks like a tar box Lem. to me. I'm Jake. You holding iron? Left it yonder. <laughs> so what you come for? He's scouting for them. How about you and I set a spell? I reckon we could do that. Lord Almighty, put your hands down. Look right, silly. Thank you kindly. You can't trust him. I can't trust none of them. Lemuel Roberts. Seems like I heard that name somewhere. He's the dead eye kid. Folks sometimes call me the dead eye kid. That's it. Just goes to show them tar boxes are yellow enough to hire themselves a gun. Them tar boxes. They pay y'all y'all to come up here? Nope. I I don't rightly know why I'm getting into the middle of this. He's a low down, dirty liar. Check and see if he got him a forked tongue. Mr. Drummond, I reckon the only folks I'm speaking for here is the town. They asked me to try and stop all this trouble, and here I am. They just asked me because I don't have to live here, and I... Well, I guess I ain't a scared of much. You should be. My boy here can shoot the eye out of a silver eagle at 20 paces. Y'all are gonna sort this here out? Can't think how you expect to do that. This one's been going on for donkey's years, and Hap ain't about to rein in none. He's a curly wolf and no mistake. Time and again I tried to reach some kind of accord with him, but, well, I sure wouldn't be surprised to find that boy was Plum Rabbit. That whole family got polecat in it somewheres. Ain't none of them men folk right in the head. But you'd have sit down if he did? I reckon I could, but I can't see my way to trusting him no how. He'd lie as soon as look at him. Don't you go trusting them tar boxes, boy. If I sort this out right, shouldn't have nothing left to be a fired up about. He was born a fired up. Huh. Well, least I can do is be hospitable. You a drinking man? I wouldn't say no to a snort. Be right back. And you, sir? Me? Eh? No one listens to me. Might you be Eb Drummond? I might. But not to any tar box. Mary Lee sends her love. Mary Lee? Well, how do you know about Mary Lee? Talk to her, just as I'm talking to you now. Figured the boy wouldn't understand, so I waited to tell you. She? Is she? I suspect she's much as you remember her. They never managed to get her hitched, if that's what you're worrying about. Then, what happened? Ish. Here you go. Make it myself. Old granddad's receipt. Boy does take after me. Get yourself around that, then. <laughs> Kicks a bit, eh? <laughs> like a cougar in a carry sack. Yeah. Bites and scratches all the way down. <laughs> Boy, hmm? them tar boxes, they said Mary Lee brought me a poke of gold coins as a dowry like. So you fixing to end the feud? Yep. And that's what started the entire mess. When they, they found her. Happier than a pig and swill if this was over. The coins weren't nowhere. She never has. Settle down. You believe me, don't you? Maybe raise me up some kids. Yep. Sounds mighty nice. Except Tarbox won't let you snap it off. Reckon I'll ask him himself. Afternoon. Here's luck. If you happen to come across Mary Lee again, tell her I, I'll come for her. I'll carry that. Gold? I was quite certain this all began with love. Gold moves just as many mountains. Yes, but you must consider. Love may very well vanish into thin air, but gold must have actually gone somewhere. Plenty of folks these parts had buried. No one had ever known. Oh, come now. A secret is only a secret as long as no one knows it. Did he say how much gold? Expect he didn't know. Not likely they'd be given no reckoning to them. They's accusing of rustling no ways. <sighs> Sometimes I truly despair for your grammar. My grammar's dead. Keeled over when I wasn't but a pup. Oh. Uh, 
This hat fellow isn't likely to be very talkative in light of his incarceration. Come on in. Let me do the talking. As usual. Sheriff, ma'am? Mr. Roberts, have you had any luck? I might. Can I join with your prisoner for a spell? Hap? Certainly. Though I must warn you, he's not very cooperative. Right through here. I'll just wait out here then, shall I? That's just fine. Hmm? I'm starting to see what might have caused all this. How? I've had Hap and Jake each at one time and another in lock up here, and neither one seems to know, or they simply won't speak of it. I'm good at listening to them as no one else pays any mind to. Whatever do you mean? Um, old folks, crazy folks, engines, them kinds. Huh? If and it gets the job done, I reckon the path I take don't matter much. Too true. Well, see what sort of a path you can turn up in there, but I'm afraid you'll find it a rather crooked one. What's that? Someone wishes to speak with you, Mr. Tarbox. Please, try and be civil. Y'all could go to blazes, Besom. Such a fine, upstanding character. I want nothing further to do with him. Y'all can go to blazes, too, wherever you be. Kinda dark in here, ain't it? It's the pokey nit. Hey, I clapped eyes on you for this. On the road. You said you wasn't involved. I ain't involved in none of this, just trying to help the sheriff keep the peace. Now, she says, Hap, that's you, ain't it? Is one of them making trouble? It's them Drummonds. They's the ones started it, stealing our gold. This is all them Drummonds' fault. We're just trying to get back our own. I understand that. Now, if I can nose out what y'all lost, get it back to you, would you agree to end this, make peace? My own cousin was killed for that gold. That varmint of Drummond tricked her into stealing it. Then Crevster once he done got hold of it. I reckon I might, uh, could set down, long as Drummond does. Yeah, her folks was took hard with losing both daughters in just one season. Y'all come back when Drummond turns peaceable, you hear? Two daughters? What was that? <sighs> I'll speak with you again soon, feller. Soon? <laughs> Did you see him? Yes. While you were in conference with Tarbox, I took a look around. As much as I can manage by myself. And? Jake Drummond was certainly watching when we left the sheriff's office. What shall we do now? I'm sore tempted to break Hap Tarbox out the pokey. Surely you jest. Lemuel, that would be madness. It'd be one way to end everything. You do mean... You put two rabid dogs in one corral, you're bound to have at least one less dog. But, but Jake, he, he seemed like a rather reasonable fellow. That's all that's stopping me. What the devil is that? It, a wanted poster? You're holding it upside down. Don't matter, I just took it. Wanted something to make Jake wonder. Why ever did we have to come all the way back out here? You've already spoken with Merrily. I reckon she might have more to say about them two lost girls. Do you feel it's so very important? Everything's important, right up till you know what ain't. This, well, I reckon it's just something that got overlooked, and I can't leave a loose rope to dangle. Colorful. Do you still hear Jake behind us? Reckon I do. Aha! The lady is expecting us. Y'all came back? Of course. Simply to gaze upon you would brighten any man's day. <laughs> now that the courting's done with, you two want a hayloft somewheres? Yes, sir. You say plenty. Miss Marley, we come back for two reasons. First, Tarbox said something about two girls died the year the feud started. My sister might could tell you more. What tarnation is wrong with you, kid? This will only take a moment. You might want to... Merrily? Eh? Now I see your oh, scheme, so you romantic fool, Merlia. you. You're so beautiful. Jake, I need to apologize for leading you all to hell and gone. Okay. 
You say the sweetest things. I should say so. What you want in a place like this? That we made. Hey, I nothing here. I've been thinking that maybe the answer is here I'm somewhere. Sure I've never here? The Buried? Was that paper Tarbox oh, gave you a map? No map. See, you. two young ladies were taken from their family right about the start of all this here. I'm reasonable sure Mary Lee wasn't the cause, so I have to ask myself, what about the other one? Jennifer? What do you know about her? Sheriff Nails says Jennifer left behind a child and a husband who weren't much more than a drunk and a troublemaker. That's a tar box, all right. Begging your pardon, my dearest dove. He's a beast. He hurt her so bad when he got too much white lightning into him. So I asked myself who would need the money more if she were planning on lighting out for parts unknown. A newborn mama or a girl gone to marry. But Jen Fair Tarbox, she was Hap's grandma. So Sheriff Nell said. She never didn't go nowhere. Not like she planned, no. Hold her right there. Hands up, both of you. Down. No. I reckon there's one good thing about meeting in a place like this. <clears throat> Plenty of cover. Damn it, I'm trying to end this peaceable. Go out there and tell that sidewinder then. I'll put up what he does. Lem, he's behind a tree north-northeast of here. If you shift ten feet to the left, he won't have a clear shot. Right. Jake, you stay put. Give me some room, but don't waste your lead. Oh, I got plenty. Just cover. Get Mary Lee over here. I need gin fair. Righto. Abner? Abner Tarbox? It's half, you chicken brain dog breath varmint. Of course it's Hap. Abner got hung last month over at Connor's Gulch. Damn it. Here's Mary Lee. Sh shall I go and fetch Abner for yeah, you as well? Yeah, uh, if you please. Jennifer don't want to come. She ain't fit for company. I ain't company, woman. Think of me as the law. Yes, darling. Listen to the... Let go, come on, sit, come split the sit, uh, What the blazes? Uh, ha! Mary Lee! Abner! Stay behind me, Mary Lee. You little mink. Run off on me? You didn't take no time at all to fetch you another bride, Abner Tarbox. Right. I forgot it were almost five years before you finally hitched up with L.E.D. Oh. I had to, darling. I uh, hate to break up this little tea party, but even we don't sort things out right quick, your last remaining will be joining you. You say something, Liam? Talking to myself. Get Jen Fair. I'll try. Yeah, don't you dare tell that for your goodness. I was just here to see the back of her. What? Why? I was never sure that, that leaves my too close for kissing. If he sees where I'm aiming. Oh. Sounds to me like if the gold's found, this whole thing can be done with. Jen Fair's here. Talk. Jen Fair, where? She prefers to stay out of sight, Lemuel, but she will answer. <sighs> I'd rather look folks in the face, but... Jen Fair Tarbox, what'd you do with them gold coins? I, I hid them under the cow shed in a leather poke. I meant to go back and, and, and get, just get away, but the baby came early. I see. And I, I, I didn't make it. Thank you, ma'am, for that. You go on back now. I'll try and turn the stampede. Can I, I can stay here with Mary Lee, can't I? Reckon I don't know, but you can try. Hap? I know where the gold is. I'm standing up, and if you shoot me, there ain't no one else alive can tell you where to find it. Must you rub it in? Tell Jake to throw down his weapon. Ain't gonna happen. Tell him. Ain't gonna happen, Hap. But Jake is gonna walk away, and you and I are gonna go on and get your coins. I ain't. Just go. I... Oh. oh, good shot. What in tarnation? Damn. So, Mr. Robert shot Hap? That critter was fixing to shoot me in the back. He could not do it. My ma'am. Well, did anyone witness this? Nope. I'm plumb sorry, miss. I, I mean, sheriff, uh, ma'am. But it was just the three of us. Uh, and then all them headstones. What is wrong? With... Let me help you there, miss. <clears throat> A rotted old leather sack. You could have kept some. No one would have known. Sheriff Nell there will see it gets put to good use. 
Maybe for a church or a school or something. You did a good thing, Lemuel. That town is free of, free of a terrible burden. My hand's done it. Didn't give me no time to think twice. If not for your interference, Lemuel, a good man, Jake, would be dead. Try and think of it this way. You ended the feud with but a single shot. Yeah, I reckon a single shot can have some kind of power. Yes. Hmm. Like that shot heard around the world just over a hundred years ago? Oh, uh, yes, well... <laughs> Now that y'all know how to find us, don't be a stranger. We got enough of them already. Tonight's production, The Dead Eye Kid, was written by Julie Hoverson. In it, Lemuel Roberts was J. Spider Isaacson, Clarence Fanshaw was J. Hoverson, Sheriff Nell was Hillary Dixon, and the bartender was Joel Harvey. Jake Drummond was Jake Stratton, Eb Drummond was Dan Conklin, Hap Tarbox was Renaud LaBeouf, Mary Lee Tarbox was Beverly Poole, Jen Fair Tarbox was Jody Monahue, and Abner Tarbox was Bill Holwig of BrokenSea.com. Also heard were Cole Hornaday and Ryan Hurst. The harmonica music for this episode was performed by Jerry Canote of Canote.com. All other music in this show was courtesy of Kevin McLeod at Incompetech.com. Sound effects were found on SoundSnap.com and Sonomic.com. Sound and mastering was done by Julie Hoverson. This episode was recorded at Neo Hoodoo Studios with the assistance of Ryan Hurst and with the participation of the Magical Mystery Troupe. This presentation is copyright 2008 to Julie Hoverson and Reality Productions. Let go of me, you city slicking furrier! Fur in here? Fur in here? Fur in there. Sheriff! Yeah, Sheriff! Hey, Sheriff! Put the drink down! Aw, oh, Eb, nothing ever could come between us. And nothing ever was between us. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Robert shot Hap. The critter was shooting a fix mate and pen. Yeah. Okay, right? That's cool. That's cool. www.19nocturneboulevard.com <laughs>